Okay, in this video tutorial, I'm going to start talking about how to clean up your work and get it to that next stage in animation. So before we kind of get into that step, though, I need to show you how to create color swatches. This is super important. And so you can see right here, I went over this in a previous tutorial, but I have on this layer right here, and remember, I can double click, I have my turnaround illustration, which is just a JPEG, which I imported into my project. And you can see it shows up in my library right there. And I'm going to use this as the basis for my color choices. So I kind of made my color choices during my illustration and concept process, which is the way that usually goes. And so let's imagine that I've kind of drawn this in and I'm ready to kind of fill this character in. I need to be able to have access to these colors easily. And so right now, the workspace that I'm in, I'm in the basic interface right now. And so you can see I have a color tab right there. And right here, I can kind of choose colors manually right here by using the slider. And if yours doesn't look like this, remember you can click on these buttons right here to kind of change the mode. So I'm in the, um, the top mode right there. And when I'm painting, you know, I can pick colors here and do different things. But when you're filling in a character, you want your colors, obviously, they need to be consistent from frame to frame. So that's why we're going to build swatches. And so you can see there's not a swatch panel right here. So we need to kind of pull that up if you don't see it on your interface. And so you just go up to Window and then go down to Swatches right there. So the top where it says Window and then down to Swatches. And I'll click on that and we'll get a new panel right here. And so we have default swatches right here, which I don't like to use. And because they're just very ugly <laughs> colors typically. Um, and so right here, I have this button right there. So let's create a new empty folder. So I'll do that. And I'll call this demo one. And in this folder, we're going to use the eyedropper tool to pick the colors out of our illustration. And we'll make it our color palette for our animation here. So it's really straightforward and simple. And so the main tool we're going to be using here is the eyedropper tool, which is this tool right here. Shortcut is I. And so I'll start. I'll zoom into my project. So I'll press Z and just kind of click in a little bit. And so I think I want my first color to be my line art. And so this is kind of like a dark brown in here, if I remember correctly. This is a bit of an older illustration. So yeah, really dark brown. And so again, I just did the eyedropper tool. And I clicked the eyedropper right where the, the line art is, right there. Oops. Let me see if I can get that a little bit better. There we go. And to add a new swatch, I need to just select the folder that I want it to go into. If I don't select that folder, it'll go into my default swatches up here. So click on demo one, and then I'm just going to press that plus button right there. So it's going to create a new swatch. And right there, I have the line art color. So next, I'll do the main skin tone. So I'll just do the eyedropper tool. So I pressed I, click right there, select demo, press plus. And then I'll do the shadow tone. So again, I'll press I, click there. And this time, I'm not going to press the demo folder and press plus just to show you what happens. So I'll press plus, And you can see it goes into my default swatches. So if that happens, it's no big deal. You can just click on it, and then you can drag it into your um, your main swatch library right there. And so when you're building your characters here, and so I could just kind of keep going on this. This color, this character has several different colors going on. But one thing you might notice here, if you're kind of drawing in a style similar to this, and this isn't always the case for every character, but I, I usually I use this as a pretty solid rule of thumb is for the white of the eyes right here. You can see in that illustration, this highlight right there is a true white. But for the eye itself, and this is true whether, you know, if you're painting in real life, things like that, uh, I just prefer, if I do the eyedropper tool, you'll see that it's not a true white right there. It's more of a gray. So just kind of keep that in mind. So I have the eye white right there. have the eye shadow right there. And again, I'm just clicking on the demo folder and pressing plus. And so, yeah, you just kind of keep going with that. I think I only have a few more colors to go here. I have the the iris itself. And you can see right there, I, I forgot to click into the, um, sorry, the demo folder right there, but it's okay, because I could just drag it in. So next I'm just gonna do the hair color click on demo plus and then I think the only things I have left is the shirt so again eyedropper tool press on demo plus right there 
and then this earring is a slightly different color. So right there. So these are all the colors that are with the character right there. And so when it comes time to clean up, you know, we, you can customize your interface and have this pull this in. So remember, I can just grab swatches and I can pull it to here and it'll show up like that. You can press these arrows and it'll kind of work as an icon like that. Or, you know, you can put it just about anywhere. I think I can put it at the bottom down here and have my swatches available for me right there. And as long as I save my project, so I need to, you know, save this this animate project, that swatch library will be available next time you open your project right there.